What's good with it, Black Ghost TV family? Double salute as always. It's your boy Fluence Boxing back in the building once again, bringing y'all that Fluence Boxing news. You already know you've been missing out on, so please don't cap. Look, what we finna be talking about tonight? Y'all see it over here? Y'all see it down below? We got the Canelo news for y'all. And to be honest with you, this is not brand new news. This is something that Eddie Hearn has been putting out there in the atmosphere for a very long time. This is something that the zone has been putting out there in the atmosphere for a long time. This is even something Canelo himself has been hitting at for a very long time. And you're probably asking me, well, are you sure about that young flu? Are you sure this ain't new news? I'm going to be a honey with you. It's not new news. And the reason why I can say that and the reason why I can be confident in what I'm saying is because I've covered this a multitude of times. I've talked to y'all about this a multitude of times. And one of the main things that I want to point out to my people, if you guys were paying attention, if you guys were present with some of the videos I made when it came to way back when, earlier, earlier, earlier in the year, when Canelo signed the three fight to zone deal where he's going to uh, be going crazy. He's going to be fighting Baval. He's going to be fighting. Uh, a triple G, and then of course he was supposed to have this unnamed third opponent or this unnamed, you know, for uh, before it was a two fight deal. Then all of a sudden we learned later it was a three fight deal, and it's like who's the opponent supposed to be? During that time, I told you guys, if all goes well for Canelo, he's gonna fight Bavall, beat Bavall, he's gonna fight Triple G, beat Triple G, and he's gonna take a little time, not time off, but he's gonna, what some would say, respectfully, John Ryder. I think John Ryder is an excellent fighter, but he'll be taking a little bit of a step back when it comes to opposition with John Ryder to end the year. All that got blown up. All that got messed up when he lost to Baval. When he lost to Baval, it got messed up. Then he fought Triple G. Then as we know, he ended up having that surgery. So he wasn't able to have that third fight. But people don't know that when that fight was signed during the time on the lead up to the Baval fight, Eddie Hearn was speaking uh, 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 on, on numerous occasions, numerous occasions. And he was alluding to the factor that Canelo or one of his biggest goals and one of Canelo's biggest goals is we, they wanted him to fight in the UK. They wanted to see how he did in the UK and see how much money he can generate. And a lot of times what Eddie Hearn was alluding to, what he was putting out there into the media was, we think him versus John Ryder in the UK would do big numbers. That would be the fight we want to see. That would be the fight that we would make. So for a long time, I've been one of the few YouTubers that said, hey, Canelo is going to fight John Ryder next after he fights Baval, after he fights Triple G. It doesn't matter the outcome. John Ryder is a guy that's really realistically on Canelo's radar when it comes to him fighting a third time whether it be at the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023 that would be his next fight lo and behold here we are towards the end of 2022 obviously with the surgery obviously with the loss it didn't come into fruition during the time frame that probably canelo wanted it but most likely john Ryder is going to be his next fight um and this is also giving respect to john Ryder as well because you had to go through a hard young opponent in zach parker um who was undefeated with with, with ko power um, I didn't watch that fight, but I definitely watched the highlights. I was confused on why the stoppage happened. I was confused on why Zach Parker uh, withdrew from it. He said it was a broken hand. I've seen fighters continue on with a broken hand. Um, some people say, you know, this was his first step up, you know, for, for Zach Parker. And he kind of seen how it was going. So he copped out. One of the big things I do take away from that fight is, you know, I, I will continue, even though I haven't talked about him in a very long time. I haven't. Y'all got to give me credit for this. I haven't talked about him in a very long time. And I don't have no reason to talk about him because, he ain't doing shit in the sport of boxing, but Boo Boo Andrade, you fucked up. You said, I'm not finna fight Zach Parker for, you know what I'm saying, this amount of money, which it went from originally when the fight was supposed to happen. A lot of people don't remember it was supposed to happen in like summer, him versus Zach Parker, but he ended up having an injury with his shoulder and they had to reschedule it when they rescheduled his later date. Um, it went to being like in a million plus fight for Andrade um, to now he's making barely like a hundred thou or something like that. It was a, it, it was a drag drop when it was expecting to get paid. obviously you cannot necessarily criticize him for that but when you see the long run if you're thinking about long term when it comes to Andrade, it's like bro you would have had the canelo fight next or if you wouldn't have had the canelo fight next you would have been in prime position to demand the canelo fight because you would have had that wbc and or the wbo excuse me interim belt so I had to throw that in there real quick because it does disappoint me a lot when it comes to the you know decision that Andrade making and pulling out of that fight due to money. Yes, I know you want to make the money that you want, but hey, you haven't fought you know this whole entire year. So um, uh, this whole entire year, other than you know the his last fight, I, I don't know why I'm forgetting the brother's name, but it's like you ain't making no money anyways. You're just making it from your sponsors and all that stuff. So it's like you might as well fight and then put yourself in a position in prime position to possibly get the Canelo fight. And now look at you, bro. 
it's going to be hard for you to get any other fight from this point on. You're not represented by a major promotional company. You know what I'm saying? Your fan base is dwindling. We're older now. Your fan base that was young and that was rampant, vibrant, and talking shit. We're older now, and we really don't care. I'm being 100 with you because I'm one of the biggest Boo Boo fans. So it is unfortunate to see you know that, that happen for Boo Boo. Anyways, I'm not going to make this about that. But ultimately, um, I told you guys, I, I stressed you guys, Canelo's going to be fighting John Ryder. And a lot of people said no. A lot of people said no. He's going to be looking for the PBC guys, or he's looking for this other fight. He's going to fight Baval for a second time. Listen to me, people. I like I read between the lines. Like I'm not emotional when it comes to this shit, bro. I tell you guys what it is, and this is what happened. So please, from now on, man, listen to me because once again, I'm right. As you guys can see from Hearn, BoxingScene.com reporting, Hearn will attempt to make Canelo versus Ryder in May at Emirates Stadium, which is over in the UK. It'll be the first time you know Canelo will be fighting in the UK in a big uh, arena. So before I get into this article, show your boys some love, man. Hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not part of the family. Notification gang, comment on this joint because I love it when y'all tell me what y'all think. But let's get into this article. Super middleweight contender John Ryder may have won the lottery on Saturday night at the O2 Arena when he picked up an upset win over Zach Parker. And I don't really know if it was an upset win. I just think people were a little bit surprised on how Zach Parker went out. So I think it was only an upset victory because of my guy Zach Parker tapped. And there ain't no submission. So it's like, what you tapping for? Ryder, who was the underdog, was declared the winner after Parker broke his hand and was able to continue beyond the fourth. The victory made Ride, excuse me, Ryder, the mandatory challenger, the Mexican superstar uh, Canelo Alvarez, who holds the WBO, WBA, WBC, IBF at 168. Earlier this year, Ryder pulled off another upset with a close 12 round decision over the former world champion Daniel Jacobs, which we haven't seen since. Eddie Hearn, who works with Canelo and promotes Ryder, would love to match them against each other in May of next year. Excuse me, at Arsenal's Emirates Stadium. Canelo is looking to stay busy with a possible May bout before pursuing a rematch with Dimitri Baval in September. According to Hearn, Canelo has expressed real interest in fighting on UK Soul. I am so pleased for John Ryder since he beat Daniel Jacobs. We've been looking for this big fight. We didn't expect it to be Zach Parker. He came through and it was just too much for Parker, who I think had an injured hand, but he was getting to him. And I think he would have stopped him anyways. I've already texted Canelo's trainer and manager, Eddie Reynoso, to say John Ryder is mandatory. Let's go in May at the Emirates. It would be a dream for Ryder. He deserves it. He's a very good fighter and he's a mandatory challenger for Canelo. This could be our chance to bring Canelo to the UK. It would be unbelievable. We'll see if we can get over the line. So obviously nothing um, that's like confirmed, nothing like firm or anything like this. But I'm telling you, we've been hearing, if you've been paying attention to boxing, if you pay attention to Canelo, this fight has been talked about this entire year. John Ryder versus Canelo has been talked about this entire year. Eddie Hearn has talked about getting Canelo over to the UK. Perfect opportunity. He's coming off his hand injury or his wrist injury, whatever the surgery may be for Canelo. He's going to go against a guy in John Ryder who a lot of people feel like is not even on the same level as Canelo. It just makes enough. You know, the reward is high enough for the risk for Canelo. So I'm telling you guys now, you're hearing this first, Fluence Boxing, Black Goose TV. You already know what it is. We will see Canelo versus Ryder. It's going to be Canelo versus Ryder in the first part of the year next year. And then obviously that's going to gear up for September, um, Cinco de Mayo to have a rematch with Baval and uh, Canelo, which I think Canelo will also lose the rematch. But Either way it goes, that's how I feel. If you guys disagree with me in any type of way, man, let me know below in the comments, man. Drop that joint while you're doing that. Like the video. Like, like, like. Right next to it is a subscribe button. If you're not part of the family, be part of the family, man. You already know what it is. Notification game. I'm just worse nigga side of the game. I'll be back. But with more boxing, you already know what type of time we on, on baby. Stay blessed, not stressed. I'm